Is everyone ready? Yeah, come on, let's come on, on, boys. Come 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 on, boys. Yeah, no, 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 bro. <laughs> what are you, what are you, what are you, I don't need to ask if you're doing it. I know, you, I know what you're up to. Scouting. Scouting. You got drilled on. Yes, boss. What are you going to say? Yeah, well, it was a penalty shootout last season, but we're going to try and do them this season. See you later. First of all, I apologise for the lateness. Better late than never, Chris. I turned up, everyone's warming up. All of a sudden, the game's kicking off. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a different surrounding today. 3.30 kickoff and... Uh, yeah, obviously, a bit different, no, you know, no dugouts and things like that, but, you know, game of football, just got to get on with it, mate. I look at these types of games and typically it's because of the fact that they're the they're team below us, so they want to fucking prove a point. And that was us last week with Holland and Barrett, um, whatever they're fucking called. Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett. Anyway, today, they're going to fucking want to beat us because we're in the league above, but let's just pretend just like they're exactly the same as last week, they're in the league above, we've got a point to prove and we mm. can do the rest. Uli, yeah. bully them. Honestly, you're in such good form, fucking bully them. Mm. Yeah. And if Uli, Uli plays well, we win the game. Fact. Go and play well. Remember what we are saying about having a purpose, innit? Yeah. The purpose has made people like Tricky want to join this change room mm. and why so many boys have wanted to join Croydon this season. Well, it's nothing to do with fucking money, it's about the spirit that we have. Welcome. And we have to show what spirit means. Yeah. Oi, when you're away from home expect everything to go against you cool heads that's what you need you need mm -hmm. to be cool heads mm -hmm. assassins in them position mm -hmm. when you get your chance put it in the back of the net defend us defend us 6 p.m. yeah we're in fucking two semi-finals ready yeah. yeah. three two one what is it what is it this is how we do a seven day make a fool act up at this club this is how we do nobody do it like we do it so show us some love Fresh like, oh, uh, you know where it is. This is your non league meal deal, and we're back. This is the quarter final of the London Senior Trophy, and we're playing against SC Petro Club, former Europa Conference League side. Today's light count is 700, and don't forget, G, -G, -G unit. The trusted steed RP7 has got an early opportunity to deliver into the box. Normally, you put a hand up, one meaning back stick, two meaning near post. He's done neither. It's still a great cross. Petro Club do well to clear. And the Bronchiosaurus Jordan puts it back post. Yuli rises. A bit of communication would be 1-0 up. You know what? I'm actually really hoping something. You know? Would you be cool to put these gold clothes behind the goal? I just want it to do you know like that? Or like that? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So you can see inside the whole Yeah. Fucking film team, look. But the last man, man asked me to go and put the goal probe behind the goal. Me, me, me got bigger problems with me trying to get me minister in that dog. And then the 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 you the you down playing down the side of the channel and we, we whip in but the, the tall giant giraffe you knock it out for corner. This afternoon definitely has started off lively. We've had scenes from a barber shop and now Petro Club showing their class. And outside of the boot cross dealt with first and RP7 denies it with a great block. Even Petro Club have got their own Yuna Emery. Petro Club had done their research and they heard that we had a player called the Governor. So they made sure they gave him a reducer nice and early. I heard one of them whisper this. Tassil. Let us know what that means. It's a great day being played in a fixture in a car park in Essex. And Bruno Moldandes intercepts a short pass from RP7. It's played to the tricky 10. Zabalova on one of his famous runs. Space continues to open up. It, he has a strike. Just wide of the post. Not every battle is physical. Some are psychological. As the 16 buys another foul. Sanka, you're dead. Football is one language. Even without knowing what they're saying, we all know what he's saying. Your greatest war films are decided by killing the strongest opponent. We've got a giant at the back. Jordan, 
Jordan the Giraffe. What a name. Fear him at all costs. Free kick given early. Bruno Maldandes. These are not the kind of areas you want to be giving him an opportunity to have a strike at goal. His recent form has been outstanding. And it's an opportunity to get Big G. Routine save for the keeper. One thing I can guarantee you if you continue to watch this non-league series is there's always going to be a great pass from the skipper. There's always going to be a moment of brilliance from RP7. He finds himself in a channel and he warms up the keeper's palms. This piece of string on the GoPro is getting annoying now. It's just one of those things in life. Once you see it, you actually can't, you can't unsee it. Talking about ability, this young man Zabalova. He looks 18 and 50 all at the same time. He meets the giraffe who does well to tackle. Ball comes back to the skipper, Big G. So look up. You can see that's a relationship that's built over the last few weeks. Yuli flicks it on into Sammy, and it's him again. What's his name? Who is he? A bummer, what a bummer, who? A bummer, blood clot, iron teen. You don't just stop being a goat, it takes a few years. I've got to say what everyone's thinking at home, one nil to the trams away in Essex, brilliant. But the cameras aren't doing us any favours. Oh, Lionel doesn't want to give it, it's the world of YouTube. The giraffe hooks it as Petro Club try their best to get back in the game. The ball falls to that man you don't want it to fall to. Bruno Moldandes! And that's cock away from hitting the net. If you've been on this journey with me and SE Dons, you will know that the come up story has been incredible. But one of the things that's happened over the years is people have just wanted me to fail. And I'm sick of it. So how about this? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. How about the smaller they are, the faster they roll? The governor, by order of the Croydy Blinders. They're going to come out and fucking give it to you. Let's make sure they don't do that. We keep that ball moving the same tempo we've been moving it. Trust in what we're doing, because it looks fucking good. You're away from home. You've got 10 fans, they've got 150. You've just got to stay in the game and keep your composure. Sammy, taking no risk, goes a little bit more direct. Yuli Watkins, oh, oh, you know who he is. He's that MVP for the trams every week. Bully boy, Yuli. He's just made a run on the opposite side of him. Center four has been distracted. And that puts the trams 2-0 up. Come on, you tram. Thirty nine P Zinger Burger sold. One of my biggest pet peeves is when there's no consistency in the officiating. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not closer. Go away. You've got no idea what you're talking about. Just stay just button it. You've got no idea what you're talking about, just button it. No problem. Big G turns his attentions to the snuggly bench. Motherfucking blankets! Get up! Blankets off! It's the ideal scenario, 2-0 up away from home. It's been hostile, they haven't made us feel welcome, but we've taken no risks. Another opportunity, a loose through ball. Talk about that, crash bang wallop! One into the other, IOT through a goal! And the Glaswegian Evans puts it over the chopsticks. With two minutes to spare, the last thing you want to do is give the opposition an inkling that there's any sort of weakness in your, your defensive shape. The 16 and the 3 have definitely been the stronger two players inside. The 16 driving again, and he takes another tumble. Get up! Stop fucking screaming, David! Respect is earned, not given. The skipper sees Ambler Gambler. It's safe to say that the temperature of the game has been managed well. We've not tried to let it get too hot, not too cold. But it's not helping with decisions not going our way quick enough. And he's not giving it again. He's not giving it again. Three. The home side has been silent so far. Only a few opportunities to get a high rate. And this is one of them. We're at that point in the game where the referees look for a tea break and I ask you the question, what's Superman without the S? Oopa? 
half a job. I don't give a shit. But if you ain't gonna get on time for a free thirty kickoff, when are you gonna be on time for? <laughs> As long as we keep calm heads and we make the right decisions, you know, if one or two are pan out from the back, it's not working, let's just get up. And let's they're, so, up. they're so Three reckless seven. at the back, we're going to get a penalty 100%. Mm. They're just diving in they're left and right. They're half of the, the, the skippers on the yellow already. On the second ball. Yes. They're right. fucking engaging. Just watch the three. No, 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 If you get a yellow and he gets a second in because of the push and shove, he's off, you're not. Have the intelligence. We have to be better. There's no. It's a cup game. We're winning. That's the most important thing. But we have to be better. And if you think about it, Jay, what you got behind there? Keep going behind there all the time. I'm working. Yeah, they can save Abia. Don't do that to me, bro. I've got an assist while you were fucking having a yellow card, bro. Right, Lance. Listen to this, yeah. Don't take the piss out of that ball out there. Shall I tell you why? It's a real fucking proper ball that is. They're 150 quids, mate. Oi, if you strike them, mate, if you strike them, they'll fly, mate. I'm telling you. They're striking them. Eh? Right, Don't mate. forget, kick loads over the fence. They'll be in our bag, then, won't we'll I just feel like we're almost like in second gear, you know, with 2 0 up now, and I want us to up that, boys. Yeah, it's a fucking big game. The next goal is crucial. Alright, I'm seeing some of us trying to take an extra touch or not fully committing into a challenge. That boys, okay? You've got a fucking great achievement to go into another semi final. Yeah, that's two semi finals of two county cups. Yeah? Don't fucking let it go now, boys. They're gonna come at you all guns blazing. Yeah? Go and get the next goal. Believe me, their heads will go. They'll probably get one cent off, if not more. We've only done half of it. Yeah? And we haven't really shown up yet. So imagine what we can do when we show play to our actual fucking levels, alright? So lift yourselves up. Get yourself going again, and we go out and put this game to bed nice and early. The next goal is fucking crucial. Yeah? The next goal is fucking crucial. And if there ain't one, we keep a clean sheet. Mm. Simple as that. We've got a 2 0 lead, we can protect that. Same way, I think this is our time, boys. We've shown that we can beat teams above us, we've shown that we can beat teams at the same level. Now it's about showing that we can do things as a job. You understand? The objective is get through to the next round, no matter how it's done. Mm -hmm. So a foul from them, that's another 30 seconds closer to the end of the game. A corner for us is another minute of the game. Yeah, we can kill those minutes, 10 minute spells, yeah? And we do it together. Keep the energy high, boys. Come on. Come on, boys! Don't fucking leave it in here, right? Come on! Ch -ch 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 unit! This week I'm gonna big up these six people. Tom Grimmett, AJ, Daniel, Callum, Mana, Tay. You answered the question last week about what is your local non-league side or professional club? This week's question. Who's the best player that you've ever seen live, non-league or professional? BG better be in there. If not, get down to a game. You know where we are every week. G -g -g unit. <laughs> RP7 doing his best to invite the pressure and draw more fouls. They're killing their own time. But the governor's got one rule. You touch one of mine, I'm gonna touch one of yours, lad. Petro Club are attracted to RP7 the same way bees find honey. It's a problem. They've seen him and they're trying to rough him up. Hey ref man! What do you want him to do? He headlocked him! Ref he headlocked him! It was only a matter of time before there was a booking in the second half. It's only taken four minutes. No it ain't, it's 49, 49 five plus four. Almost five minutes. The referee's definitely noticed something else. Here he is. Take the walk of shame, mate. He has done something naughty. He's finally been understood to have spoken out of turn. Take the walk across the car park. Just as predicted. Petra Club, a player short. Captain sees red. Petra Club have lost their leader, but they haven't lost their spirit. Another big challenge in the game. It falls to the Glaswegian Evans. He squares it. Sammy gets his head up. Blood clot denied by another offside. Well, let's have a look at this angle. You can see it. We don't need VAR. He's just good officiating. It's a cup game, so to have any advantage is massive. 
But Petra Club doing their best to make sure that that advantage is taken away early. Late challenge from the governor. And in amongst all the officials being swamped by the players, the referee banishes a yellow. The definition of insanity by Pep Capes is you do the same thing over and over again expecting a different result. Petro Club have been known for it. It's another player. He's on a yellow card. A player should be on eggshells. Decides to go rogue Humpty Dumpty. It's a horrid walk of shame again. Nine versus 11, 11 versus nine. It's the kind of match you don't want to see on a full size pitch. But this is the situation Petro Club have put themselves in. A beautiful ball from JB. It's into the path of that man in form. The bummer, what a bummer, who? A bummer, blood clot, Iotine. There's something different in the southeast London water. We drink from the taps. We get tick girls. It's a nightmare if you ain't used to it. Take that! Gaffer Giles, he makes sure you add him on Instagram. He started his management account alongside his scaffolding business. Capes doesn't have Insta. Two subs on. Fucking score, man. No score. They're fucking nine men. They're shit. Come on. The shout of nil-nil is being spread across the field, I meaning it's a mentality thing, nil-nil, we, we can't concede, it's, the game's still on, but reality is it's 3 nil. it's a routine save. Petro Club are no pushovers, so regardless of the scoreline, the taste of a sweet victory can be taken away with complacency. With less than 10 minutes to go, the home side are being bayed on to take away the Croydon Trams clean sheet. And it's another opportunity. Penalty save, you tell me. Let's have another look. He does so well to stick out his back leg. And the rest is up to the striker. He's through on goal, you got to shoot earlier. Terrific save. A mental note for my young and up-and-coming keepers. The best players who play out on field are able to create time and space for themselves. That's no different for you as a keeper. Discipline! Levels! On the man! Levels! Fair play to the opposition. 9 versus 11. There should be overloads all over the pitch. But there hasn't been another goal since. Bola cuts inside! With all the drama that's happened in that first and second half, I'm going to give you one last bit. They say goalkeepers are crazy, but this is just a whole new level. They say pro clubs, but the keeper has actually come out of his goal with nine players, and I can do nothing but applaud it. I'd like to thank you all at home for watching for another week. This has been your non-league meal deal. Please remember, 700 likes for this episode. Don't forget to answer the G-Unit question for this week. And I promise you, the next game is going to be epic. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I've been your skipper. I've been your commentator this week. Thank you for being part of the unit. Big up. G G G unit. Are you like me? Fucking crazy. Good luck. Good luck. He's mad. The number three knew. Um, he obviously watches the Dons and that, yeah. So he knew we were playing them today. So he came up to me and said, we knew, we knew what we play against today. It's going to be big battle. And I said to him, respect. Number three was a good player. But hey, another semi-final. Yes. Another semi-final. I lose the gown winch. <laughs> I reckon their keeper has been watching G's highlight reel. See him, he come running up the pitch. Thought he was, thought he was George. We got triple F. We got triple F, man. This guy, look at him. League's our priority, but a cut run is uh, is much needed. The club ain't won something for a long time, so hopefully this year we can uh, we can bring it back to SC25, Chris. You got Rufus, yeah? Trying to bring it down there when you could have headed. You got gassed off your two. The thing is, I play with my heart and I always play like that. So I play and I show at a different angle regardless. So a man will do no, a skill or not. I clean sheet, gentlemen. Well done. All the way in somewhere in Essex. Job, job done, ultimately, yeah. Clean sheet, 3-0 win, away from home. Yeah, freezing cold into another semi-final. Okay, so well done to you all.
train Wednesday, and then we've got a big game Saturday against Staplehurst. All right. So yeah. well done, all of you. Yes. Everyone, do everyone. Let's get in the ship. Let's get in there. Get, 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 take care of our business. Stick your finger up there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Winning means everything, but as I said, a game plan's only as good as the players that execute it. So it's nothing to do with me, it's up to the guys on the pitch, you boys, to go and okay. deliver the game plan and you're and doing it. What do you do to celebrate after a win? I just go to bed, man. <laughs> I go to bed, I'm so tired. We've been doing a non league vlog, nice to meet you. What's your name, Adrian? Adrian, yes. And you're the gaffer? I'm the chairman. Eh? The chairman? Oh, yes, it's even bigger. It seemed like there was a whole community. Yeah, because we are originally from Moldova. Okay. Yeah, so. All the players are from Moldova and basically all the fans are coming also from originally Moldova. Wow. So they just come to watch and support us, you know. I'd like to say it was an amazing atmosphere. I yeah, really thank enjoyed you very it. Much. Yeah. And your goalkeepers is crazy as I am. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the good goalkeepers what we do, yeah, <laughs> usually. Yeah. Oh, pleasure, thank so you very much. So good luck to you, yeah, pleasure, thank pleasure. you very much. Well, Every week we've got a pressure to try and get an episode out and record a no, match no, on the same episodes, day. Episodes, bro. Yeah, episodes out. Because I wasn't late because I was in bed. You was commentating okay. with Donny. And then after you was commentating with Donny, he was editing the episode that's going out today. And we're in a semi-final, so the hard work's paying off, bro. It's mad. Let's go celebrate and it's a new weekend.